another segment of the market cow and bull industry we don't focus on much is the, the bull side of it. Uh, once again, this is an area where timely culling is important relative to age of the bull and they start to have a deterioration in muscle mass and, and you have a lot of weight sometimes but not the volume of muscle you'd like to have. The other big concern you have with bulls is lameness problems. Uh, if they go lame routinely, they're not going to get any better. So you need to move those bulls to town as, as quick as possible and make sure that they're, uh, you, you realize maximum value out of them. Right now, the, the market bull price is such that they can almost pay for half of the value of a replacement bull uh, or more, depending on the quality of bulls you're buying. So it is an, an area you sure don't want to wait until the value of that bull is, is diminished. In the case of a bull that you might need to take to market, there's nothing really physically wrong with him. He may have some scrotal uh, and semen production issues that would take him out of the breeding herd. And so that's one reason it's very valuable to do breeding soundness exams on these bulls uh, prior to every breeding season to know if you have one you need to remove from the herd. And if you have one that's suspect or has diminished uh, semen production capacities, they really need to be harvested. They don't need to be sold back where somebody else can uh, deal with that same problem the next year. So once again, uh, when you do breeding soundness exams and those bulls are sent to market or brought directly to a plant, uh, they need to be harvested and, and no longer in the breeding, uh, breeding herd.